Well, Mike, get your fat ass at the table. Well, sir, this is now the tenth time now you've been to jail. You had better tell me why your ass got arrested. Because I went to the supermarket and stole ten bottles of vodka. You, sir, are in so much trouble, mister. You realize that it's only three days away from Christmas? Yes. Well, guess what? You are not getting any presents. You are not getting one thing this year. You hear me? Dad, it's been six years since I've gotten any gifts. Too bad. Dad, can I please have at least one present? Shut your f face. Your ass will not be getting anything. You ask me that once more, and I will f knock your f***ing face apart. You hear me, boy? Yes, Dad. You stay at the table, mister. You are not getting one thing this year. Yes, Dad. Enjoy your dinner tonight. No, Dad. I don't want blend us for dinner. What the f*** did you put in it? You had better watch it, little boy. I put in some raw chicken, green beans, and I also put in some leftovers in there too. Get your fat ass eating it. Dad, I don't want to eat this. Get your fat ass eating before I kick your fat ass. You had better shut the f*** up. But Dad, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> You wanna keep making excuses? Get your fat ass up, before I not only kick your ass again, I will send your ass back to jail again. You hear me? Get your fat ass eating your f dinner. Dad, I don't want to go back to jail. Three people almost murdered me. Get your f ass up, before I call the f***ing cops. Yes, Dad. Yum 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 yum. Thank you. Now get your ass up and get your ass into your bedroom. Yes, Dad. If you leave that room for anything, you will get a big daddy spanking. You are grounded for a week for not listening to me about your dinners. Yes, Dad. Sam, you gotta help me. George, what the hell are you doing here? I'm sorry I came barging in, but my lease ended for my home and I don't have enough money to move. Oh my god, really? Yes. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I got an extra room that you can use until you get enough money saved. Really? Well, I really appreciate your help. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Your room is in Mary's old room. Mike, listen up. George is going to be living in our house until further notice. Why? Don't worry about it. If you go into George's room for anything, you will be in so much trouble. And then I will have George kick your f face several times. You hear me? Yes, Dad. Don't you even test me. Get your ass to sleep. George, this is going to be your room. I see. Am I allowed to have my television in here? Of course. I will also let you play loud music, if you want, but don't play it loud when I'm sleeping. If Mike is sleeping, 
you can still play it loudly. Well, thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Don't make any holes in my walls, otherwise I will kick you out. Understand me? I respect that. Good. Well, enjoy your stay. One more thing I gotta ask you. Yes? What happened to your bar? Well, the home inspector told me I can't have a bar that big in my house. So I was told to make something else out of that room. So it's now a big huge guest room. Well, at least I get plenty of space. Yes. But don't violate my rules. Otherwise I will kick your ass out and not let you stay. You got it.